Plug in your FreeZone freeze dryer and wait for the screen to illuminate. The LiOWorks operating system should fully load within about 90 seconds. Most general operations and system monitoring can be done from the home screen. The icons across the top are Home, Programs, Data Logging, Settings, Sensors, Drying Accessories. This icon illuminates only on systems that include plug and play freeze drying accessories. Endpoint Detection. This icon illuminates when using the end zone endpoint detection accessory and help, where pertinent information and resources are located. The collector temperature is shown on the left side of the home screen. It will change from red to green when the collector reaches the proper temperature for your model. Vacuum level is displayed on the right. When the vacuum level is above 5 millibar, it will say high. At 1.5 millibar or lower, it will change from red to green. Vacuum level can be displayed in millibar, pascal, or tor. The current operational mode is displayed here as manual, standby, or defrost. Data logging status, on or off, will be displayed here. The buttons along the bottom control the collector, pump, and optional purge valve and shell freezer, or mini chamber. The auto button allows you to initiate the automatic startup sequence. Upon pushing, the collector starts and the vacuum is automatically started after the collector temperature reaches negative 40 degrees Celsius. Or use the collector slash defrost and vacuum buttons to manually turn the collector and vacuum pump on and off. The vacuum level can be set by pressing the vacuum button. Freeze dryers that include the optional purge valve, shell freezer, or mini chamber will display the buttons to control them here. Under the Programs menu, you can create a new program, start a program, or view and edit programs. You can also copy or delete programs from this screen. When you create a new program or edit an existing one, you can edit the program's name. Add a sequence of steps to your program. Each step can include parameters that are chosen from the drop-down menus for time and vacuum level. If you choose a plug-and-play accessory, like heated shelves or a tray dryer, shelf temperature can be programmed here as well. For models that include pre-freezing, the max cold option can be chosen. In this mode, the cooling rate of the shelves is not controlled and the shelves cool as quickly as possible. The status of a program that is running can be easily seen with a quick glance at this progress bar on the home screen. The time remaining in the program is also displayed. On the data logging screen, use the new button to start logging your freeze dry run data. You can stop logging data at any time. Use data view to review a saved data log. You can chart data from one temperature sensor and one vacuum sensor at a time. You can export data to USB drive or to a computer via the Ethernet port. Files can be exported in CSV or PDF formats. The choice of the file type can be locked or changed at the data logs option under the settings menu or delete any file in the list. Under the settings menu, you can select from five languages, English, Spanish, French, German or Italian. The security feature allows you to set a four digit lockout code. The factory default security code is 1234. You can select which sections will require the security code from this list. Sensors on your freeze dryer can be calibrated by a qualified technician using the calibration menu. Set the time and date here. You can select your clock format, time, date, and time zone. For clock synchronization via Ethernet, enter the web address of any NTP server of your choice. To get alerts from your FreeZone freeze dryer, 
connect it to your network and provide an email address to send alerts to. If you have multiple free zone freeze dryers, you can change the device name in this menu as well, so that you know which freeze dryer is sending each alert. The display screen allows you to set the LyoWorks display brightness, turn touch suns on or off, and set the screen timeout options. If you prefer different units of measurement, select from Celsius or Fahrenheit temperature, and vacuum pressure in millibar, pascal, or tor. Consult your IT personnel or your email service provider for the SMTP codes you'll need to configure email alerts. You can select a different set of alerts from the drop-down list for each email address. Some alerts are useful for monitoring samples, others relate to maintenance. The maintenance menu gives you access to information and settings related to the vacuum pump, refrigeration, and line voltage adjustments. On the network screen, your freeze dryer's network information will automatically populate when it's connected to an active network via Ethernet cable and DHCP is enabled. To set the variables manually, disable DHCP. On the data log screen, the data acquisition rate is set for data logging. The choices that are available for file types when exporting data are set here. The Sensors screen displays a list of current readings for all sensors and accessories installed on your free zone. The Drying Accessories icon will appear only when a plug-and-play accessory is connected to your freeze dryer. Here, you can view the sensor's readings for drying accessories such as heated shelves and tray dryers. Use the Manual button to enter a set point temperature or start the accessory in manual mode. The Program button will take you back to the Program screen, where you can create and edit programs that include your accessory's shelf temperature settings. The End Zone Endpoint Detection icon is displayed when the end zone is properly connected. The end zone can be used to detect when the endpoint is reached for up to five samples in flasks. The status will display as on, off, or complete. A remote notification can be sent when the endpoint has been detected by selecting the End Zone Alert option in the Settings menu. The Help menu gives you access to four different types of information. The About option provides product-specific information like catalog numbers, software versions, and the LabConco product service number. The Diagnostics option can be used for troubleshooting. Mechanical and electrical components can be tested very easily with the touch of a button. A reading of the supply power line is displayed. The QR codes can be scanned with a mobile device, providing quick links to information like users' manuals, IQOQ documents, informational videos, parts, and accessories. The Backup Restore option provides convenient one-button backup for programs and stored data. A backup is recommended before starting a new software upgrade. If you have questions about LyoWorks software, Contact LabConco or visit labconco.com.